Hey and welcome back to the Time Vortex. We just finished up a little bit of Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 1 and it was uh, <laughs> the Legacy of Arthur Shippuden if anything but now it's going to be time for the Legacy of Bawa Tabata Bang the Bang The Sin and uh, yeah we just you know I really enjoyed this the last time I played it last week and I feel like we deserve more of it so it's time to get back into The Sims 1, The Adventure of Ba with the Ba to Bang to Bang and Co. And Company, I guess. How do you say that? Is it and Co or and Company? Anyway, let me just get this set up really quick. I think this was how it looks like it. I should probably keep my cursor this time too, because last time I didn't have it and it looked kind of weird. Let's just do this. And it should look fine. I remember... Last week when I streamed this, too, OBS really hated this. <laughs> like, absolutely hated this. To the point where it got real weird, dude. I, like, went back to check on if this game was even getting picked up. And it was, like, peeking into an alternate universe. <laughs> I opened up OBS and all I saw was The Sims. It, was, it had taken over OBS. It's like they colonized it or something. So last time we played, we made a few characters, uh, namely one who died. So we had a... Who is this again? We have Jojo reference, the obvious Jojo reference, who uh, isn't one particular Jojo reference, just many. And then we have Ronaldinho Sucker! Good stuff. Let's just get out of here real quick. I just wanted to see them. Wait, I accidentally quit the game. God. Okay. Let me just do this again. And we had, uh... You know, I want to say he's a reference to Kid Rock, but I feel like that's not even doing him service. Bawita Bada Bang to Bang is something special. <laughs> just look at him! He, immediately after zooming in here, like the first second... That we come back in the ball with the bada bang the bang. On TV, he is fighting noob Cybot. He is crying about a TFW, no GF. There's a puddle of piss. Like ashes in the corner, trash. God, this guy is a legend. Well, uh, we already did like the big major thing, which is kill a million Sims the first time we play. So that's done. That's all said and done with. What's important here is, uh, I want to, like, flesh out this universe now. I really expected all of those sims to survive, too, so we might be trying it again just to see if, like, I can make this a genuine home for them and they'll want to stay here. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up really quick, so just enjoy ba at the bada bang da bang like, wandering around psychotically screaming to himself. Let's see. I definitely planned on playing this a few times, but uh, I need to make sure like I can actually uh, <laughs> trap neighbors and make sure they don't die either. I don't even think it's possible in Sims 1. I might be wrong. But we'll like try and flesh out what I wanted to do with this besides just murder everybody. Because that's not the whole point of this series. I mean, it's fun and it's hilarious, but we need to do more than just that. So I wanted to check in on our new characters here. Or I wanted to check in on our previous characters and also make some new characters. Oh, good God. This is so dilapidated looking. Well, the first thing I thought of whenever I was thinking back to, like, what I wanted to do after I first finished this stream last week, I wanted to take everybody's uh, gravestone and just stick it in one area. So we can remember the fallen soldiers. Good God, this is nasty looking. 
Okay, I can't move the pile of trash, but I can move, like, the plate of trash. That's fine. I mean, we just want to, like, stick them all in one corner so we can start our, uh, grave business or whatever. I don't know if that's what Bow at the Bow wants, but we certainly want to keep them organized just so I, like, have a tally of everybody he's killed and also make sure we keep the town clean, you know? I think that's everybody except for, like, the two that I sold or whatever. Who do we have here? Is it going to tell me? Uh, it just says mourn on them. Okay. Well, my plan was originally to destroy everybody in the neighborhood and then slowly just bring in my own sims. I feel like that's going to take a lot of time. So instead, I've decided, now that we have visited Bawataba, we got to, like, make this universe proper for all of them. So let's save really quick and then just pop out of here. God, I keep doing that. I keep closing the game when I mean to go back to the neighborhood. Back to the neighborhood. Back to the lab again. Okay. <laughs> Gotta remember, stop closing the game. Every time I want to go back to the neighborhood. Alright, it's time for a new family, as I would have said last week. So, it's so hard to do this every single time, but I know that I want something wacky. And I was thinking about, like, celebrities or, like, characters or whoever that I want to make. And it always comes back to this. So, uh... I still, it's the big special, what? Did I forget to change the name of this stream? Hope not. Uh, so, for like our new squad of people that are gonna be entering the town, we really need to make sure that they're uh, the best possible. We already have Nuke Dukem, so... <laughs> who doesn't look like Duke Nukem, Master Chief? James Bond, whoever, he doesn't look like anybody, so I was thinking... <laughs> for like a one-off family? <laughs> we, since since Bawataba has strong kid rock vibes, we gotta make Red Cock. Which uh, will like complete the trifecta of this series, right? So we can finally just move on from the kid rock stuff into like real characters. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this first. And the whole point of Red Cock, he doesn't look anything like Kid Rock, he doesn't act like Kid Rock. He's just Red Cock. Like, that looks like a solid Red Cock. <laughs> I mean, what else would we do with this guy, right? Um, what would Red Cock be? Very neat, very nice, very playful. Not really much else, right? We need him to be like a, a vessel for all of the Kid Rock energy. Even though he's not Kid Rock. Um. <laughs> okay, there's Red Cock. Uh, yeah, I just wanted like a one family for Red Cock. God, that sounds so weird. But yeah, I wanted to add him to the neighborhood and just, like, abandon him. I guess we could, like... I still don't know how to do it, but I think we can merge families. So I could stick Ridcock somewhere. I think we have to, like, move people out first. You can't move a guy into a house full of cats. Good to know. Uh, I don't really want him to have, like, a big important house. I mean, this one still looks kind of big and important. And this is the family house. The Dukem family. <laughs> Happy trail, dude. What? That's a community lot? Oh, it's Custer's Market, okay. Don't get me started on Custer's Revenge, dude. Well, uh, how about this? Instead of moving a family in, 
Can we just, like, don't let the family? This might actually be perfect. Oh, it's a park, never mind. Why is this... This is a public lot? Why? Also, don't give me, like, this Tony Hawk Irish bagpipe music. 69 First Avenue, dude. Okay. Now, how do we move a family out? Uh, is it impossible? Don't I didn't do anything different. Uh... The newbie family. Do we just have to kill everybody in, like, the requisite household we want to move them into? Is that what it is? Because if that's the case, I'll just, like, I'll put Red Cock in a full family or something. Whatever, dude, we'll just add more people to this. Wait, no, not create a family. You know what? I'll just stick with my original... my guns. I'll leave him in his own family for now. Um, so my plan was to just add, like, a bunch of real weird stuff. But I want some concrete stuff, too. I want to, like, add YouTubers, weirdly enough. And, like, maybe not so much famous people, but, uh, just, like, some really odd stuff. So my first thought was Vermin Supreme, but we can't give him the boot head, I don't think. So let's just, uh... Let's just make the memers. We gotta make this real sickening. Um, I guess we'll just random until we can find, like, the pre-made setup that I want to go with here. We need some strong memers, though, like, some devout memers. Like, this already looks kind of like Gordon Freeman. So we could totally give this guy, uh, some... I don't know. Space in this Sims 1 universe? What <laughs> would be the opposite of Freeman? <laughs> uh, I'm trying so hard to think of, like, what this guy could be. Do you know who ate all of the donuts? It kind of has, like, some Breen vibes, too. Hmm. We need someone else. Like this guy! Who the hell is this? Obviously, he's supposed to be a burglar or something, but... I just get, like, some weird energy from this. Like, what the hell is this combination of outfits? This just looks like the Riddler, dude. <laughs> Perfect, dude. The Questioner. Should I do The Questioner? Yeah, let's just do The Questioner. Uh, he's real playful. Not very nice, though. And, like, extremely active and extremely outgoing. Guess a little bit of neatness. There you go. I mean, is the questioner a good name? <laughs> the querier. Querier memers? Ooh, that doesn't sound right, dude. Let's make it the memer household, please. The querier. There's gotta be something better than, like, just... The Riddler from Batman. Come on, can't I get something better than that? Like, like check this dude though. This is Joe. Oh! I need like, uh, you know, I was talking about like a homeless man last time I streamed this. I feel like we need a dedicated homeless man. But they've got to be in a like an actual house for us to utilize them. Study the blade. God, what is this? Some of these combinations are just so nasty that, like, I feel like I almost have to do them. 
We're talking about you on free, so the only Sims 1 streamer. Nostalgia feelings. What is free, so? Free Sims Online? I think I've seen Call Me Kevin stream that. Oh my god. Free The Sims Online. Yeah, that game looks awesome. I don't know if it's really my cup of tea, though, because it seems like... Kind of like any... I want to say online game, but really like any MMO game. There are, like, grind metas, and I don't know, that just kind of puts me off. This dude is totally hippie to the maximum, so I'm just immediately gonna make this guy. Looks like his hoodie slash shirt has the Dreamcast logo on it. How many letters can I fit into this? It's basically just The Sims Online, more of a social game than anything. Hashtag hosting and following. Hey, thank you very much, Blue Anna. Appreciate you joining the stream, checking me out, playing The Sims 1. Also for uh, hosting and following me, I appreciate it. So how do we fit as many syllables into this name as possible? It's like C, Z, J, C, U, H... C, C, Z, J, C, U, H, A, U, J... <laughs> G H K. What's like a K? Yeah, K. O E. Uh, A U G H. There you go. That's Jaw. Uh, he's very active. Very outgoing. Now let's do that like half active, because he is like Jaw. Uh, kind of playful. Not very nice. You know, he's begging to bum cigarettes off of you at the bus stop, etc. Yeah, hi. Oh, hey, guys. Let's go. You're welcome. I'm a new streamer myself. Hey, welcome to Twitch. Hey. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching me play The Sims 1. For PC, of course. Uh, as much as... Uh, I talked about this in the first stream, but as much as I'd love to start, like, in Mom's house in the console version of The Sims, get a life mode. It's not available in PC, so... We're just doing it up our own way. Let's just increase the rest of the stats across the board, and then, uh... Okay. We've got one person in our memer family, so... I saw something here that was so incredibly based. We just automatically gotta get it. And it's funny, because it's right before the Cha outfit. Where is it? I love these kimonos, dude. Even back in Sims 1, they truly studied the blade. <laughs> this is like Cyber Jesus! <laughs> okay, what's a good name that's like a combination of Christ and. Oh my god. Okay, this is Christborg. <laughs> Holy stream! <laughs> Holy stream! <laughs> oh god, it's it's Christian cyborgs. We're all watching while playing Free Sims Online. Well, I hope you're getting good entertainment value about out of this, because for as much as I love Sims One, this is such a like flawed game compared to Two Onward. But it is good. Uh, what is Jesus Christ? I feel like he's very balanced. Like, he managed to convince people that water is wine. So, like, he's on some shit. Whatever, dude. Debate uh, Jesus' skin color all you want. I'm just going default. That's why I didn't automatically make him black. Uh, it doesn't matter, but, like, some people are weird about that. I'm not trying to make this religion or anything either. Just, you know, saying... That laugh, though. <laughs> Started streaming four days ago. Well, did I just read that? I don't know. I'm getting brain dead. We're in our second stream for the day, so... I have a good YouTuber voice, thanks. Uh, I've been on YouTube for... Let's see, when did YouTube come out? 2005? I joined two th 2006, so... <laughs> 14 years of YouTube. 
I've been on that long. I've been making videos since about 2006 as well, so... It makes sense, I kinda got like YouTube ingrained into my soul now. What the hell is this? This is like a Dirk Gently, but with additional DLC mustache, TM. No, that's perfect. Um, let's just name him Dirk, dude. Reference one of my favorite book series. He's, uh, not playful at all, not nice, very outgoing, very active. That is, like, perfect Dirk Gently. In fact, we could probably do, like, a whole Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy thing, but... I'm done with that. <laughs> Sims 4 is the best, fight me. <laughs> I don't know about that. I like it, but there's so much additional content that you can buy. And you get so little in the base game, in my opinion. This guy. Who the hell does this remind me of? We'll get out of the create a sim real quick, too. I just want to make... I want to flesh out, like, a couple families. Not right away, but I wanted to make one right away. I may need help with that. I played Sims 1, 2, 3, but not 4. Dude, Sims 4 is on Xbox Game Pass? I didn't even know that was a console game. Something about this outfit. It just has, like, strong CEO vibes. Where are the women, bruh? That's a good point. I should probably be making some ladies. I just get, like, a strong, weird feeling from this guy, but let's, let's just skip him. Who is this? Who is this? Who added, like, Neo Future Carmen San Diego to this game? I would agree, but I used the Origin DLC Unlocker to get all the Sims 4 stuff for free. Huh. Kappa... Kapachichia? I don't know if that's a good name or not, Anna. It's an interesting one, that's for sure. Uh, what? <clears throat> Excuse me, it's time for uh, State Farm. What? What are the lady outfits in this game? Okay, that last one, dude? This is like straight up... <laughs> Can I please go back? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> What the hell is that lady's name? Ugh. She's like an insurance agent salesperson, but she's in every commercial. And something about this outfit just makes me think she's a Jedi. I can't even remember her name. I literally just said it, but I can't remember her name. Is that a good name? I'm trying to make it Simish. I have no clue. Some names in The Sims are straight up like... They'll just come up with whatever, and some of them are like, they actually sound like real names. She's extremely outgoing. Kinda neat, I guess. Very active, kinda playful. Would you say she's nice? I mean, as a Jedi, she would have to be nice. <laughs> like, selling insurance to the Sith? Hmm... I need to look her up so I can remember her name, because she can't just be Insurance Jedi. That's like... <laughs> That's bad manners. Why did I just look up Insurance Jedi? <laughs> the Insurance Jedi podcast. Yeah, good stuff. The Insurance Jedi. I can't believe that's actually something. Oh, you're trying to help me with your names. <laughs> well, thank you. I usually just put in, like, real stupid stuff for names, so... Thank you for putting in the effort. Don't worry about it so much. Okay, this is Flow from Progressive. Should I do Progressive Flow? Let's just do Flow. Because she is a memer. And then just... Progressive. Yeah, she's gotta be a little nice, though, just for the the Sith Lords. So, unfortunately, she's gonna have to be a little bit Ares. 
Let's do another lady real quick. We got a big family here. We got a lot of mouths to feed. Uh, we need, like, cyber future terrorist lady. But this is somehow appealing, too, so let's, uh, augment this. You're an og, lady. Like, what... Where are all of the dystopian cyber future helmets? <gasps> no! Oh my god! I used a baby name book randomly. Wait, you got... Kapachi Chia from a baby name book? This is terrifying. Like, I feel like I've created a godly sim here, so this is gonna be, a. Uh... Hmm. What? Is this like a feminine spelling of a damn Adam? You know what? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know how else to put this. This is like totally Adam Jensen. Oh, you made that up. Okay, cool. Don't worry, we'll get into the gameplay in just a second. I just really want to make like a bunch of random Greta Sims. Sorry, I keep making everyone white. I'm just going with the prefabs that are set up. A, da <laughs> a damn Jensen memer. Uggs. Uh, what is like maximum Adam Jensen? Adama Jensen, that's perfect. Adama Jensen. Extremely outgoing. Like, one neatness, because if you remember human revolution at all <laughs> you'll take note how adam jensen throws fridges everywhere he's not nice he's not playful but he's extremely active so like i guess this is adama jensen i would say more neat than playful and nice okay uh is this good that's fine we'll make like a mega family at some point but like for now we just we need the utter chaos. Okay, we gotta move these people into a big house. Both so they, like, have adequate space to live in, and also so I can farm them for all their money. This one looks good. The Porte Rouge Villa. The Mimer family only has 20 grand. Uh, I guess I don't have enough money for any of this trash. I could stick them in the smallest house available like I've been doing, but I feel like that's just an insult. The Vanilla Home. This is perfect because it's just small enough to drive them into utter madness, and at the same time it is... What have I done? Why did I name him like this? We're talking about like weird simlish names, this guy has like spot number zero. Christ, Borg. Get a pet? I don't know anything about Sims 1 pets. Adama Jensen. <laughs> Flo doesn't look like anything from behind. She just looks like a woman in a priest gown or something. Okay, so you already know what, it's, what it is. We gotta buy, like, the cheapest stuff possible. Because, like I said, we gotta farm these Sims. They're not just here to be part of the community. We really gotta, like, double down on making sure these people are sharing money with the rest of the neighborhood and also have a good place to live. Five beds in the tiniest house on the planet, yeah. Kill one of them? Well, we already did that last time, so I feel like it's kind of an insult. I mean, I definitely plan on doing that, it's just... I feel so bad, because I keep killing Sims. Indiscriminately. Let's just make this like a halfway house. There you go. I could do double beds, probably to save some money. I don't know if they cooperate on that, though. I guess for the sake of the madness, let's just do it. So, two double beds is four beds. So we could probably do something like this. <laughs> just make whatever the idiot of the family sleep in this bed. Okay, like always, we need the curse TV, so let's grab that really quick. What the hell? <laughs> you can get a door... <laughs> it, 
I was reading chat and my brain stopped working. You can get a lava lamp. I had no idea. Oh wow, we have a dorm room. It's uni time. This to really be looking kind of like a dorm room. Give me the accursed television. I guess I could get the VR headset, but no, I'm gonna save that for like ba with the ba da bang da bang. Okay, we got our one solitary chair in the kitchen. As always, per tradition, we gotta move the fridge into the bathroom. Uh, dish duster deluxe? Are you kidding me? This is like going out in the yard, dude. There you go. Okay, the madness finally begins. Uh, probably stick this in the backyard. You know what? I don't know why, but I get like a very devilish idea with this. So let's just act on it immediately. There you go. Put like a real cheap door on this. I know JoJo Reference already has one of these as well, but like, why not? What you need is a phone and two alarms and one fire alarm. Okay. That seems pretty logical. Let's just cover this with like the basic trash. Okay. Might as well move, uh... Move some more of the utilities over there. Like, let's take the sink and put it in here. I need better floor, too, so let's... Is this actually grass? <laughs> okay. Give them the cursed checkerboard tile. I feel like that's gonna cause them to go even crazier. Mmm... What else do we want to do here? Fire alarm and... <clears throat> a phone? We'll do pet stuff, but I feel like not right now. What the hell is this? Granny Raymond's holiday cookies? It even includes the ingredients. Well, let me go ahead and find uh, the appliances. Uh, this is the full expansion, by the way, so I'm probably going to get a little bit lost trying to find everything. There's a phone. Go ahead and get, like, the non-wall phone, just to make them even crazier. Two alarms. Oh, you mean, um, for exterior doors you need alarms. I feel like I can solve that problem preemptively here. Why do I... What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Give me this! Now you guys have less options. Where the hell is this, by the way? I'm surprised The Sims 1 doesn't have, like, a search function. Is this it? Burglar alarm. Not like they're gonna steal anything anyway. Anything else? Fire alarm, that's right. Do I even... I don't even have a stove. <laughs> okay. I guess that's another thing we gotta buy real quick. Where is that? Miscellany? No. Is it this? Appliances? Kitchen. Give me, like, uh... I want the grill for some reason. This thing is just good vibes. Because it'll burn down the house whenever it wants to, but it's still cheap and affordable. <laughs> okay, we got a nice house set up for all of these stupid sims. You will be surprised. Oh yeah, I know they could probably come in and steal the fridge for all I care, but uh... <laughs> this is already looking so stupid. <laughs> uh, of course, I love the jaw goes over to the lava lamp. I guess Cyber Jesus loves it too. It can burn outside. Oh yeah, I know that for a fact. This thing, if you've never played The Sims 1, this thing is Chaos Incarnate. This is like Eris's Discord Apple. Probably does even more damage than that thing does. But we have the Holiness of Flow, the Progressive Salesman, and also Christborg, uh, Genji Cyber Jesus. Let's just uh, do this. I want to network with these people just so I can get sims to come over to different places real quick. Will there be murder today? Maybe.
don't know anyone. Oh, that's right. I got a call for a party. I always just delete my cursor. What jobs am I getting? Mm, none right now. I just really wanted to add a bunch of sims. So we can uh, sort of flesh out the neighborhood and then go back to our original sim really quick. Invite over a party now, damn it. Okay, we need to make everyone doing something. Apparently Dirk wasn't even watching TV, he was reading the news or something. As for jobs, I usually like to pick, like, slacker and stuff, because I just think it's funny. But our main sim in the neighborhood is a beta tester, which is just so funny to me. Okay, it looks like everybody's sort of occupied. Here, go go take a dump. What do we need Christport to do? I feel like this character is too important. Go over here. Eventually what we need to do is make like a... Take a plot and just give a bunch of sims their own house on the same plot. But for now I'm not going to focus on that. Okay, do we have any... Yes! It's Ba with the Ba. Everybody else doesn't matter. We have like... <laughs> what? We have like Kenny Chesney here. Yes, the popular musicians are abound. Okay, I think that's enough introduction for now. We just needed like one sim who knows everybody. We could probably make everybody talk to Ba with the Ba probably too. Just real quick. Made Christborg do it. Talk to him, Dirk. Gossip about uh, detective novels or something. Okay, and they should all know each other at this point. Burger time! Where did Adama put the burgers, by the way? This is like a very basic... <laughs> nice. At least everybody's enjoying the burg. This is a very basic uh, house right now. I don't really plan on doing much with it just yet. Just want to make sure they know everybody. Old Town is free to visit? Huh. Kind of scared of going back there because I got lost trying to get back home. Okay, I think that's fine. We'll just go ahead and save here and then move to another town. Or another house. Do not quit! I keep doing that. Have you heard of Simitone? It makes TS1 a lot better. I've never heard of that. Can you go ahead and link that in the chat or something? Or, I mean, If you don't feel comfortable linking it in the chat, you can go ahead and join my Discord and link it there. But in the chat's perfectly fine with me. STOP! This guy, Chad, this guy will spaghetti run everywhere. New UI, higher resolution, faster, etc. Okay. I'll have to look into that, because uh, that's definitely something that seems up my alley. Let's go ahead and open up the downstairs. I probably have another door for this somewhere, but let's just grab a cheap door and expand it real quick. TFW, no GF. Wow, he's angry. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Do you see this absolute madness? Here, look at the clown dungeon. This is where Ba with the Bada Bang the Bang lives. Okay? Oh my god, the urns! <laughs> we should probably do some renovation really quick, actually. Just let Ba with the Ba go in real quick. And as much as I want to keep this, like, stink dungeon maximum size, hmm, there's probably something we can do to, like, remove all of the excess walls here to save some money. I knew I had a spare door somewhere. <laughs> it was just on a corner inside of the house. Yeah, I thought about selling all the urns after my first play session, but I think I'll just keep them on the lot. You live in a cemetery! <laughs> Correction, Chad. Bo at the bottom, bang the bang, lives in a cemetery. He's crying. Why are you mourning them? You're, you're clown dungeon man. Go upstairs and watch Mortal Kombat on TV or something. Go, go watch cartoons, idiot. We, I need to figure out this, like, logistics of your home. 
You have to install install the free SO launcher, and there's an option for Simitoan at the bottom of the launcher. Hey, thanks for the link. I'm not gonna do it midstream, but uh, if it seems like it's worth it, I'll definitely do it in preparation for the next time I stream this. Okay, what did I want to do here? Well, it seems like in Sims 1, Sims won't take care of themselves if they're populating an area that's not their home. So I think I will indeed go ahead and delete a lot of these walls. Just like save some cash. Hello? Oh, it's control to delete walls. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of most of this and like downscale the size of the home. As much as I like this extra square footage, it's not worth it. Just stick this on the sidewalk. God, this is disgusting looking. Now let's go ahead and sell all these tiles as well. As much as I like all of this, we don't need it. Maybe in the future. Did you turn on free will? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, free will is on. No, don't reset tutorial. I don't want to go through that hell again. I guess we'll take this spare door, since we have it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and close all this off. And then paper it with the same stuff, I suppose. The wallpaper scheme is so confusing. I usually just put random stuff on the walls. Because it's just so hard to tell what any of these are. Like, is this it? That is nowhere close. I feel like since this is a cursed clown dungeon, we kind of, like, want to make it obvious that, <laughs> that this is all just new construction because he murders people for fun. Let's see here. I know there's a key for this too, but, like, comprehending controls in this game is the least of your worries. Yeah, I feel like we just gotta have the expansion look like this. Just so people know that he is like a deviant that has murdered everyone in the town. I guess we're doing it on that wall too. <laughs> With our giant piss puddle in the corner. Where was this last two sets of urns? There we go. Have like our nice urn dungeon. Nice meeting you all, I'm off to support others. Hey, thanks for stopping by in the stream. Checking me out playing Sims 1 for PC. It's been a blast so far. We really need to innovate, though, since last time, Chad. There's too much going on in this world. We gotta thin out the masses, you know what I'm saying? There's too many of these people in this neighborhood. Oh god, I forgot to remove this. I gotta see if they'll survive in the lower floor, too, now that it's, like, properly walled off and everything, but somehow I still doubt it. Let's just remove all this trash. I know for a fact I don't need any of this. Wait, is this attached to nothing now? We've done it. We've officially broken the game. I don't do Sims, but I stream other games. Okay. Well, I'd want to ask what games you stream, but you said you're popping out, so I don't want to take up your entire night. Or day if you live in not the United States. I don't know. Okay, I guess we just leave this accursed plot here. There's nothing I can do with this, so I guess we'll cr create like another clown dungeon with this. You know, let's just do that real quick. I wasn't planning on killing everybody in the neighborhood again, but I did plan on doing it again in the future, so let's just like... How many parties can I throw at once here? And then we'll just create like a real long 2x2 two two hallway or something. 2x infinite hallway. No, it's fine. Well, uh, good luck with Twitch streaming. I hope you enjoy it. and I hope that you get a ton of followers and donations and bits. That's all you can really hope for aside from like just having fun and playing the games you want. Dirt 4, Forza 7, Peggle 2, Bejeweled 3 so far. I was just talking about Peggle before in the Legacy of Goku stream earlier today. So that is incredibly based to see. I was talking to Chad about how uh, 
Wait, is there a difference between these? Ladies' room and men's room? Okay. We gotta put the ladies' room here, then. Just talking about... Or, just talking to chat earlier about how, uh... I kind of didn't like Pop Camp whenever Peggle first came out. And then, uh... When Plants vs. Zombies released, I was like, damn. Pop Camp is kind of based, though. Oh, what the bada bang the bang is throwing another party I hear. Okay, let's do this just so. Number one. Wait, this is out of bounds according. Oh, I'm on the second floor, that's why. Just so I can, like, reconnect these two boundaries and also. Sort of, like, utilize this space. I mean, I know it's sort of still wasting money, but. Who is this? What are you doing in my house? Chad? Who is this? He's intersecting with my walls, by the way. I guess we'll... Insufficient funds. You know what? This is gonna drive me mad. But now I am officially driven to complete insanity. So it is no longer... Um, mutual... What's the word I'm looking for? This is no longer a uh, democracy. This is now fascism. Balutaba is taken over and nobody can combat his, uh, like, insane thirst for blood. There you go. That's at least uh, walled off from the top. We got a ceiling, that's all that matters. I had so many plans for this game, and now here I am, just inviting everyone back over again. Dude, this is not proper at all. Can I, like, at least access destroying the floor here now? I can. Okay, cool. Although it is, like, specifically tiled. What is... What? I don't understand how this is working, but, like... <laughs> okay... I guess we just got like the prefab setup for whatever's coming next after this. You know, whenever we eventually make a house on top of this. Is this fine? That yeah, looks okay. Okay, let's just give this an accursed exterior real quick. I'm on the second floor. This should be like all that Sims require to live, but. You know, here I am thinking that they were going to live last time, and they probably won't this time either. Okay, I just got to make, like, this neat little sex dungeon or whatever this is. Guess I don't have enough money. There, do it like this. Just make it both sides the same thing. I can't! I have so few money. Here, sell the stupid grill because... Like I said in the last house, just a few moments ago, everything lit on fire so easily when we had that in the house. Pretty sure that was like the first and only cause of house fire. Wait, no, 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 no. It was, uh... That's right. Bawataba doesn't know how to cook, so he has a giant pile of ash in the corner, right next to, like, his fridge. Okay, we're not even done inviting people over. That's how accursed this has become already. Oh, that's right, I keep going into, like, build menu, I know, but... There we go, I just gotta give that a floor really quick. Who is this? Quentin? Hey, Sofa Olivia, welcome! Why is everybody wearing, like, toga outfit? Hey, we got Flo from Progressive. We got Cyber Jesus. Hey, <laughs> don't, don't you dare mourn the dead. This is really all we can invite over? Okay. Well, let's, uh, greet somebody, I guess. No? Everybody is gonna get stuck on mourning the dead bodies, which is perfect. Because now I just have to bide my time. Well, let's even do this real quick. Just move all the extraneous stuff outside. 
This is like our spare technology that we're gonna sell on eBay to afford the next house expansion. There you go. You guys get a chair? What happened to all those Sims who died? <laughs> Don't worry, it's for the good of humanity. For the good of Simmanity. I need to, like, greet everybody, but there's such a weird menu associated with this. It only works some of the time. Just want to make sure this game is getting picked up by OBS, and it is. Just want to make sure to spare all of the sims that I've uh, accumulated so far. What the hell is Lucy doing? I bet you're about to make a cemetery now. <laughs> It's the purification ritual, okay? Don't get it twisted. Let's just do this. I was gonna block off the door, but this will be way easier, I think. What, do I not have enough money? Oh my god, dude. dude. <laughs> I'm actually one wall off of being able to purchase this. Well, I want to sell their urns, but I feel like it's funnier and better just to keep them. So, I'll just sell this, I guess. I can't straight up diagonal this here, so... Oh, God. There's a way to do this, I just can't remember exactly what it is. Well, I don't need, like, stupid tiki shower first off. This was for the Sims that I had moved into this house and they never used it. Because Sims 1 is broken. There you go. Have fun, guys. Who is this? Kenny? Hey, can you guys, like, come in here real quick? <laughs> Brad, the guy who, like, one of two people that survived last time. He is now, once again, returning to the crime scene. Bawitabai, you don't gotta worry about relationships. You got all you need here. See, we got Kenny. We got Quentin. It's too late! <laughs> you just barely showed up, dude. Can I do this? Okay, no, someone's interacting with the door now, I guess. I was gonna take it from Kenny right away, but... It's impossible now. Who is this? JR? Excuse me? No. Yeah, see you later, Quentin. Who? JR. Is this Adam Jensen? Like, his actual in-game clone? Who the hell is JR? Well, uh, we've successfully accomplished something. Which is capturing Flo. The primary objective of this operation. No, we definitely want to keep Flo alive. So I'll probably just do this. Uh, here. Right? It even has a ladies room door on it. Or symbol. No! Here we go. It's happening. Why is it... Why is it that everybody in this house right now is a woman? Total coincidence. Okay, well, I completely failed at what I was trying to do, which was... Trap flow inside. I can't even take the door yet. Okay, well, I guess we'll have uh, zero occupants. Nice. I'm gonna go now, have fun playing. Alright, see you later. Thank you very much for stopping by watching me play Sims 1 for the PC. We have one occupant at our new rent uh, place. In our house that we're renting out, and also our, you know, gigantic black cube from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Hey, Bawatabai, you want to, like, help somebody, some of the Sims out in the neighborhood? Wait, I can't throw a party? Call the police. What happens if I call the fire department a hundred times? They just take all my money, right? I cannot throw a party. Hmm. I don't want just Letitia, so... Let's just, like, remove everything here.
Go, Letitia, be free. As I have endless trash accumulating on my sidewalk. I love how I've done absolutely nothing so far, too. I'm just, like, making my sims suffer. Go watch cartoons. We'll just uh, wait until another day has passed, I suppose. So what happens if I go into this house and remove the door here? Will it work? It should, right? Oh, that's right, we have the door up here! Hmm... There's probably a certain way to do this. Let me see if I can remove the floor again. just really want to get rid of this. Why won't it let me, dude? It, like, it doesn't exist because it's not attached to something, I guess. Ah, yes, the carpool for work will arrive very soon. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> We're going to throw a party. Because that's what you do before work starts, naturally. Throw a big bopping party. This is so crusty, dude. Gotta love Ba with the Bada Bang the Bang and his jammies, too. Okay, this should be fine. We can just, like, focus on this house. Probably just sell all of this, right? Because that's what Ba with the Ba is about. He just murders people, because it's in his job description or whatever. Similish. They're sounded like a, they were saying a nickname for this guy. Ba. Excuse me, my name is Ba with a Ba a Bang to Bang. Not Ba. Some of these, like, uh, randomly generated sims are actually pretty cool looking. Some of them are just, you know, generic AF, though. They just come in indiscriminately. They don't even care. Okay, go to work. We got more than enough. He fell asleep! Are you stupid? It's time to go to work. You don't get time to sleep. I can't even wake him up. This is the active character, it says. Well, like, oh, okay. It's because he was mid-waking up. You have seven seconds. You have three seconds to get to work. You complete and utter moron. Oh, there goes the... There goes transportation to work, I guess. Right? Oh, it's Nuke Dukem, dude. Finally. The real party master has arrived. Looks like Christboard and Nuke Dukem are gonna have it out now. We got JoJo reference, too? Oh my god! <laughs> They're all here! The gang's all here, chat. How do I do this? We have Flo right there. And we have Adama Jensen here. So we probably do something like this. JR. What is... Th that makes me think of the Riddler, which... Makes me think even further that I should have added the Riddler. Cannot select object in use. Are you crazy? Okay, I guess we just play it by ear and hope that Adama Jensen leaves. And then the great cleansing will begin. <laughs> the purge! Okay, I didn't say go into hyperspeed. Man, why does everybody unimportant leave first? I can't keep anybody. They don't want to be here. See you idiots later, I guess. I suppose I really just gotta, like, wall him off in a really logical way. So, whatever, dude. Have fun. We'll try this again in a little bit. For now, we should probably keep our, like, scum dungeon. And then just, like, sell the rest of the house. I really don't need any of this. Like, maybe in a real Sims house? Not this guy's house. Can't intersect with other objects. What do you mean? Is the toilet attached to the wall? Yeah, this should work just fine. That way we have more cash and we also can... 
not only make it janky and disgusting looking, but you can really optimize what's going on here. Alright, get back home. We got some sims to take care of, you hear me? I'm the only human in this town. Just give it like random wallpapers, because I don't care at this point. This is supposed to be the accursed dungeon for the meme character. So nothing matters here except absolute memory. The wall is red so that you know not to enter. 120 bucks, dude? That ain't nothing. Put the toilet right next to the bathroom door, of course. Okay, we've got our accursed house, which is even more accursed than last time. Let me just see if I can build over to this uh, extension of area and then we'll probably, like, call it here for all of this stupid stuff, at least. I can't remove any of this! What is the logic behind this? It doesn't exist! Do I need a wall under this or something? What? How is this attached, dude? This is boggling the hell out of my brain. Boggle? Nothing works! Ah, uh, yes. Welcome back to The Sims 1, where <laughs> the game is written in C, so it's really good. But also, nobody paid attention during development, so it's written in, like, poop C. The derivative of C that is purely made in feces. Feces. <laughs> there you go. That's the true language here. Feces. Okay, I can do nothing about this, so I guess I'll just, like, leave this wall tile here to remind me, and we will eventually come back to this accursed mess. I just can't stop thinking about it. It's bothering the hell out of me. Okay. There's a raccoon in town, Chad! Better watch out. What is this one's name? El Bandito? El Bandito. Wake up. You have murder to do today. Well, you think this isn't murder day? You think some other day of the week is murder day? Is, is that what it is? You don't take time off from murder. Ba -ba -ba -bang -da -bang. You murder on the daily, that's what it is. Okay, let's pause here so I can call Max Neighbors. I feel like saying that, I'm just like... I feel like I'm baiting the masses into telling me cheat codes for this. With just the way I said that. Okay, good to know the second floor is floating on nothing, by the way. We have El Bandito, and then who is this? Just some random wiener dog, I guess. Maybe we do need a pet. This I have not considered until just now. Okay. Wait, what? Did I click call a sim? I meant to click call party. Yeah, I, call, <laughs> I click call neighbor. I mean, we could invite over the sims I made, but not just yet, dude. It's not time yet. Good thing at least we know, like, the most important new sims we've made. It's throw party that I want. Gotta love Bawa the Bada Bang the Bang's red hair. The orange into red hair that he has. Okay, just make your phone calls. Do your telemarketing or whatever. Oh, we got ghosts. That's always good. Oh my god. Who do we invite in? We got Umberto's ghost. We gotta be able to invite somebody in. We got a massive crowd of people outside. Are they scared by the ghosts? Oh my god, my lot is just full of random people hanging around. <laughs> Gotta look like ER on the TV as well. 
In case this couldn't get bad enough, we have flatlining sound effects for, uh, you know, everyone involved here. Do not mourn. They're all crowding up over the spiral staircase. <laughs> you guys can't do this to me. I have a job to complete. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this beauty, Chad. We gotta wait until I stop moving and then... Okay, Mary, quote-unquote, boom boom. I think it's wall time. Before, I was being kind of humane and selecting objects that would help them in their quest to survive their existence. Now it's probably time to just murder everybody, dude. So let's do that. Let's murder everybody. Okay, cannot intersect there, so I probably want to do... Oh yeah, I have hella money for this. Let's just, like, stick our tree in the backyard. Since they don't sell for anything, I might as well just keep as much as I can. We want to do this, like, biology style. We want to excise the wound. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Let's, in fact optimize this as much as possible and just lock everybody in. Don't even factor in the logistics here, just just barricade them, dude. Okay, I don't have money, actually. There's gotta be a way to do this. So we take this, we sell it. We gotta keep the barrel of hay, dude. That thing is essential. Does this sell for anything? 114 bucks. Probably not worth it. I mean, we got the dumpster TV. I feel like that's a classic. So I'll probably keep that. What else can we get rid of? Probably the park bench, dude. I bought that just so that, like, random sims could sleep on it and they never used it. It's all ogre now. Okay, how do I make this work? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so close! Okay, unpause and just go for it, dude. I am so close. <laughs> yes. I mean, we all knew it was gonna come to this, I just didn't expect it to happen this fast. Not enough money, you say, huh? I can fix that real quick. Because then we just gotta do something like this, right? Just remove walls until we can afford walls to remove more walls to afford more walls, basically. Do something like this. I mean, I barely have any money as is, but, like, I feel like I'm just gonna solve this so quick. Like, this is some goofy puzzle. I probably don't need all this trash over here. What am I even looking at? Like, we could probably optimize this two wall segment or something. There you go. Right? And then... Still not enough money. Mmm, money. Okay, that works. Yes. Yes, they are enclosed now. And now... I should be able to, like, uh... Just bide my time until... For example, flow moves to an optimal area. It's too late. See you later. Thanks for, like, stopping by, I guess. What? Oh, <laughs> I was like, how is this sim clipping through the walls? But it was a random guy. <gasps> Drew Carey! It was a random ghost is what I meant to say. I was on my way to the awards show when I got word over my cell phone that your party was the place to be. Do we kill Drew Carey, Chad? Drew Carey, the celebrity, in fact. Let, yeah, let's go hang out with Drew. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. How do we escape, though? <laughs> I never really pieced this together. So we got Dirk, we got Mortimer. How about this? We stick them in the house. And then we should be perfectly fine. Where's our entry point is the question here. There should be something that works. Like, this should do fine, I think? Eh, 
Yeah, just move all the urns out of the way. There you go. You guys got something to walk around in now. And I also am optionally moving a, a window. I guess. There you go. Funnel in. Have fun. <laughs> Talk to Drew Carey. Listen to Drew Carey. Why is he even in this game? Okay, we just gotta wait until our important sims are uh, nowhere to be found or like in this area and then we can evacuate. Just gotta make sure my main sim doesn't get trapped. What the hell is happening? What are these sounds? Everybody is so utterly confused that I feel like nobody's even gonna go in the house. Unless this might affect it actually. Does that work? I think they have a walkway now. There's so many sims here I can't adequately determine who anybody is. Like okay. Flow I definitely want in my house but like will you even enter? I have no money for food. Hello? Yeah, I'm at the party now. Yeah, baby. Hit me on my cell in a few hours. Yeah, tell them 10% of the gross. Ciao, baby. Gotta make this scene. Tell them this house is gross. 10% of them are gonna die, at least. I can't do anything here. I just gotta let everybody die, I guess. Well, we never cared about Dirk. Uh, Christborg, dude? Like... Sorry, man, but, like, you already died once. And Flo is, like, eternal, dude. I guess we just play it by ear and see who lives. And then we will make our determinations on who gets to escape the torment zone. <laughs> this is insanity. Nothing changes once they climb stairs. Because they just assume... That because they have elevated themselves, they cannot do anything more. So I guess we'll get to keep Flow. Flow lives in this universe. Where even is Drew Carey, by the way? Oh, he's still over there. He's just, you know, doing his thing, I guess. Ball at the ball can't sleep. I mean, I want to trap Drew Carey and murder him, but I feel like it's even better if I just let him exist. I don't know, do I get to know Drew Carey? Tell you what, I can't do that actually. I was going to say I'll take the stairs and stick them over near the where the entrance was, but let's just do this. I don't have enough money. How much do I need? 850 bucks. Screw that. We're not getting to learn, getting to know Drew Carey. Well, you think this is a charity? Here, go watch uh, ER. Have fun. <laughs> He's so bored and un unentertained that he just goes to bed immediately. You're telling me you can't afford a snack? Is that what it is? Okay. Well. The car... F <laughs> it's time to go to work. I forgot about that. Awesome party. Let's keep in touch later, baby. How do I escape this torment? I guess I just gotta do the obligatory, right? Let's just do it, man. There goes my chance to meet Drew Carey. But we just gotta do it up big, you know? There it is. Eh, ooh, that looks kind of weird. You know what, it's fine. Just stick it in, like, the center of the house. Why not? This, I am breaking something here, but I don't care anymore. Go to work. Go do your hacker man job. Why does this look even worse in, like, two times speed? He's going back to bed. Are you crazy? Go downstairs. I, I love how the Sims don't know that they can come into my house. They don't get it. He's crying. 
end your pathetic life and go to work. God. He doesn't get it. <laughs> I can't do anything. I broke it. I can't descend the stairs. I can't do anything. I've officially destroyed the game. Okay, well, I guess we just wait and see what happens. Oh, no, a skunk is... <laughs> yeah. Have fun living in my house, I guess. Okay. Well? If anybody dies here, it's gonna be me. I ain't gonna let it happen, though. We will sell the windows to afford food if we have to. That's how dire of a situation this is. Gotta love that I don't even have a regular door into my house anymore. Well, I think we're just gonna have to, like, demolish the entire house then. Because nothing here is working. We can't take care of our prisoner sims. We can't force them to sleep or eat or piss or anything. They just be. So I guess, like I said before, we just gotta wait for the opportunity to remove the important sim. Which is, like, half of them. One, two, three, and then Flo is upstairs, right? <laughs> okay. Well, we can already spare one Sim's life. I guess the door is in use. Okay, never mind. Are you okay, dude? He is absolutely on the verge of collapse. Just have a snack. Are you brain dead? I guess I can't watch TV because the stairs are in the way. Uh, is there like an optimal way of doing this? The stairs are really just a big hindrance, if anything. Maybe that's my mistake. I made the clown dungeon on the second floor. Can't reconnect the stairs over there, that's for sure. Okay, dude, I guess we just leave it as is. Do your thing, have a snack. Oh, he can't shower, that's the problem. And he's gonna go sleep himself to death. Do not. Go here, and then let me move the bed. Because you clearly are too stupid to figure it out yourself. There. I have everything, right? Let's even, let's make it even easier for him. Um, like right here, dude. There. Now everything is within distance. And we can do this. <laughs> He's too tired, I guess. This is actual insanity, man. Like, who are we even gonna pull throwing eight more parties? We already have every sim in the entire town. Okay, call everybody and then go take a shower. That's all you can really hope for, man. It's a shame that we just made Flo and we're gonna lose her, but okay. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Unless... Hold on. I think I've discovered it. The secret power! Yes. Is that gonna save Flo? I think that should save Flo, yes. Because now Mary Boom Boom is okay. It's time for the big bash. Okay, we at least saved Flo, so we can't complain about losing all of our created sims. We really need to figure this one out, though. Like, we could probably stick the door right next to Dirk whenever he gets close to a wall, I think. Right here. And then just immediately pause. <laughs> right? This is like a big social experiment, if anything. Can't select object in use. We've absolutely screwed it now. Dirk! Dirk, come on! You can't let everybody out, you idiot! Great. They're all gonna funnel out now. They can't... <laughs> <laughs> they can't comprehend the door again. Everybody is actually just passing out. 
Like, even if I wanted to move everything out of the way, I cannot. Because they're just too stupid. Okay, I guess it's time for the group think sleeping session. This might actually be the perfect opportunity. Maybe instead of trying to, like, make a way out for Sims, I just let them... Hmm. I could probably trap Cyber Jesus. There's a way to do this, I just don't know what it is yet. Hmm. There's a way of doing it. Oh well, we'll figure it out, man. We'll, we will figure it out. Yes, yeah, time for group think sleep sesh. <laughs> There's just like a hive mind living underneath my house. It has become real Borg hours. Who up? None of these guys, apparently. Okay, so like... We, <laughs> I guess we just like randomly generate until we get an optimal layout, right? Like, this looks fine. Can I do anything about this? No money. TFW, no emon. Okay. Mmm, I might have totally screwed myself here. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, I think we just slowly close them in a little bit. That should solve this problem. Okay. I don't know, I'm running on borrowed time here. They're only gonna survive as long as I can keep them here. Basically. As they walk around in their puddle of piss. TFW, no door, they say. You want a door? I did this exact thing last time. Grab the damn door. There you go. Now you can't complain. No complaints here. It's sad that this door exists, but they don't understand how to use it. It's like they were destined to die here or something. See, if I could get one of them into this room, then it would be no problem. The skunk is thinking about Drew Carey, dude. <laughs> okay, some weird stuff is happening, but like... Can we do anything about it? Let's try and at least evacuate this guy, right? Will this work? He is an absolute buffoon. Cha! He- The door is right in front of him and he doesn't get it. Okay, Dirk might be getting out. Come on. All of the important sims are the ones who, uh, are too stupid to figure out the door. You know what? <laughs> We've done it! We tricked them for real this time. I wish I could pick up all this water, but I guess not. We're like very barely saving space here with this, but that's... I feel like that's just way neater looking. They don't get it, dude. It could be a bathroom door. It could be like an ornate mansion door. It could be... You name it, dude. They think the door does not exist. Okay. Oh, there goes one of them. Who is this? Brooke? Brooke Shields. Anybody else? I guess this is just a big social experiment now to see how long it takes for the important sims to figure it out. Well, it looks like even they don't understand. Yes, I know, there's a skunk on my lot. You don't need to remind me, game. I've transcended that. I've transcended the need for skunks. I'm too powerful now. <laughs> They're just playing in the puddles, I guess. 
I don't even think I can do anything with the door now. This guy's got it figured out, man. Elden? He's just clipping through the door. He doesn't even need to exit. He's, like, already partially become a ghost. I cannot do anything with the door, so I guess it's, uh... Real gamer hours now. Which gamer can figure out the escape the house maze first? It's literally uninteractable. <laughs> they won't let me. This is Ball with the Buzz Redemption arc, okay? We got Brad again. If Brad can escape, then anybody can. If not, then Ball with the Buzz becomes a cold-blooded murderer for the rest of his life, I guess. Look at him, he already looks like one. He's like pissing his pants and not even watching the TV. Hey, go take a shower, you idiot. Can't even comprehend basic hygiene. What a doofus. We had all of these people in our abode, and none of them care anymore. I kind of think they want to die, so let's like... Let's try this one more time. I've given them a second chance. I just wanted them to water my yard with their piss a little bit. That's all this was about. Now that my flowers have some water, the real clown dungeon can begin. Be free. Be free, my denizens. That's right. That's right, you're free to go. You are free to go. I think. Why is Brad always the first one to walk off the lot when something like this happens? He's just too smart, I think. Brad's AI, too powerful. Yeah, just just let him go, dude. Um, I think I got the plan. Here's a strat. We call all of our, like, good friend neighbors, get them up here first, and then, uh, then the real chaos. Let's just go ahead and clean up all the piss puddles real quick, too, just so I can, uh, throw the staircase back down over here, because I really like it in the back of the house. It looks so weird. In a very good way. Hey, there goes Nuke Dukem. And JoJo reference. Hello. What are you guys doing here? What? I think I've thrown so many parties, people will just randomly show up now. Even my own mother is thinking of Jim Carrey. Yes. Clean like the one pixel of piss. On the edge of the house. This is already so cursed, Chad. What have we done? Like, what has this society become? I can't even exit my house. Because there's so much garbage everywhere. Okay. Nope, it's officially too cursed at this point. You see this? You see what's going on here? I can't let this happen anymore. It's too far gone. I've got a solution to this. And it's trap every stupid fucker inside this house. <laughs> the madness is too strong, dude. I can't do anything! I can't leave my house, I can't trap people in my house. They're just wandering around aimlessly <laughs> while the garbage piles up outside. More people are coming in. I think we need to annex the house, Chad. We need the annex. Can I grab this? Nope. Okay. It's hyperspeed time until we can figure this out. I cannot take the staircase. There's no solution here. Like, dude. I love how wonky this is because it never works. And that is a very good thing. 
It leads to some weird scenarios, dude. Like, why is my mom in my stink apartment? This is my gaming dungeon, I guess. Well, I can't try Mima in the clown house. <laughs> Yes. Is it time now? <laughs> None of it makes sense, man. None of it makes any sense. <laughs> it's all broken. Okay, just fast forward through it. So that I can finally enact the plan. So we need this in the backyard, dude. There, like, nothing else makes sense except this for some reason. Let's just remove the rest of the stink from this house. Because we need room for more stink if you catch my drift. Like, all of this stink is fine. But we need optimal stink. Uh, like, what is this, dude? <laughs> In what universe does this make sense? What? Why can't I do anything with this? This is cursed, Chad. It's absolutely cursed. How do I remove this? I can't- I can't do anything with this. I can't add support beams, I can't remove walls. Is that what it is? I just need walls to access this or something? The basement dungeon empire continues. Second story wall needs support. Does that fix it? <laughs> it's literally directly above it and it doesn't understand that this wall is extant. Okay, well, it was meant to be a clown dungeon to begin with, so... I guess, like, for every wall or floor tile that we lose is just less money I get to use for the... for the carnage. This accursed abode. There's probably a better way I can do this, too. Let's just, like... I feel like I gotta keep this upstairs partition, but I really want to use this, like, black cube and trap them all here for all eternity. Just don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Well, this has been entertaining so far. I hope you've been enjoying it watching it live on stream or on the YouTube VOD. I literally cannot even go to work. Will you wake up? Go to work. Go to work. You need to earn some money to take care of this problem. I, I can't. Oh, it's because I'm on the second floor, that's why. It's probably what happened last time, too. Oh, we might as well take the uh, bathroom door, put it on the f first floor here. I'll probably just figure this out so I can cram everybody into the first floor here, then just remove everything else. Oh, that's right. Before I go to work... Yeah, let's just do it up big. Now I'm thinking of Drew Carey. Go, my sim. Into the depths of the underworld you go. Drew the celebrity has showed up at my house once again. Stop being at work and talk to Drew Carey. We need to make him... Do a game show for us or something. He's just standing here waiting for us to get home. This is incredibly based. I cannot interact with Drew. I really cannot. He's stuck, dude. Okay. That bodes well. Tell you what. I think it's time to remove the upstairs part of the clown dungeon. As much as I want this place to exist, I can always just add clown tile to anything else. So let's, like, move out of here and go somewhere else. I feel like it's getting a little too complicated having all of this garbage in one spot. Yeah, because we have more than enough stuff. 
to survive in this hostile environment. This might as well be Mars. We have like the Martian floor upstairs anyway. I don't know what the hell I've done with this lot though. Like there is something incredibly cursed going on here. I guess I got two bathroom doors. Go ahead and take the phone, put it outside, I guess. I don't know, whatever works. This place is so incredibly disgusting that I just gotta do something about it. It was meant to be disgusting, but like, damn is this stinky already. Okay, I think that's perfect, dude. Just like, let this exist. Also, what is this honking? I think you need to, like, remove walls first. And then you can remove, uh... Everything else? I might be mistaken, but I think you need to remove walls before you can re remove the floor. I don't know, I guess we'll just take it as it is. Ah, yes, this money. I needed this money. For my sim murdering empire. Can I remove all of these now? Apparently, none of this exists. This is so weird, dude. Like, what is this? Do you, what? What? Bro, what? <laughs> I've created something so accursed that not even the game can keep up with it. That's how you know I'm really accomplishing something here. Okay, upstairs floor is done. We'll just leave the rest of the garbage, dude. I can't handle the, any anything else going on here. It's time to invite everyone over for a party. Except it's 500 parties. I love how I had uh, like something in mind where I was gonna make all my sims socialize and work together, but now. It's time for the party. Now, what do I do in this scenario? Do I just wait for them to clump up, or do I immediately box them in? Okay. Party time is over, I guess. Look at all of these sims. Okay, we definitely need Bawa the Bada Bang the Bang to wake up. So let's uh, start by doing that, like, first order of operations there. He wants to go to bed. Mmm, I don't think so. Go watch TV or something. Now I need to greet somebody, but who is it? Who will come to the lot first? Is it Nuke Dukum? Nuke doesn't care. He's the original Kid Ra. He's stuck in, like, Half-Life, Halo of Duty, Gears Theft Auto 5. Uh, special edition? Anybody else want to, like, come over? I can't interact with anybody. Nobody's allowed in. I guess this is where we just start doing this, right? Since I have no other options, I guess we just kill box everybody. Okay, that's not how I planned on doing it. Yeah, I guess we just got a kill box. There's like no other solution here. Well, there goes, uh, what's this guy's name? Omar? There goes Omar. Anybody else want to join in on the fun? I can't <laughs> interact with anybody. Like, nobody knows my house exists anymore. Just got Grand Theft Auto on the TV and, like, everybody loitering. Do I truly not have a, a home? Have I really bugged it out that hard? <laughs> I think I've actually broken the game. I can talk to Mortimer. Like, it seems like everybody outside of the lot coordinates are uninteractable. I guess we can talk to Mary Boom Boom. Come here, Mary. Nope. Well, we got ghosts. 
Anybody else want to hang out with Omar? Who is that? Priest guy? Here, go have some food. You're like starving your asshole off. And then, I guess, like, go use the outdoors toilet. I can't even use it yet. I gotta clean it. This is absolute madness. I've invited everybody over for the murder party and Omar's the only sacrifice that signed up. Who is this? Selena. Oh, she's old lady. That's why her name seems so unfitting. Yes, enjoy your Lay's potato chips. While the bugs eat all of the food that have been created for the past, like, five months. Why can't I talk to anybody? This is torment. You're actually using the garbage for once? Are you brain dead? Who was I able to talk to here? Nobody wants to talk. They know of the chaos that I've created in this town. See, Zara knows. She's been in this home for untold centuries. Alright, well, I guess it's time to just, like, chill. Uh, and wait for, like, Drew Carey to show up. Ew! The carpool is arriving soon. Yes, it's just time to go to work while we, uh, torture everyone. What? They're on my lot? And I guess they just assume that they're here forever now. Maybe something about, like, the upstairs tiles have caused them to believe that they are indoors now. Because they're not doing anything. Welcome home. Made some money. I can't talk to Omar. I can't talk to Nuke. Can't talk to Quentin. It's over, dude. We've caused so much chaos that... Bawata Bada Bang the Bang has taken over the universe or something. What is happening? Drew Carey is still here. I think it's like mandatory that I kill everybody now. Well, that's it, chat. You thought Nuke Dukem had a future, but I guess, uh... I guess he is bound to die at the hands of Bawata Bada Bang the Bang. Him and Quentin, a.k.a. Uh, Rohan Kashibe. At least Jojo reference isn't, in, isn't here, so uh, we'll have like an actually normal person that can exist. The toilet is absolutely fucked. <laughs> we have animals in our house! <laughs> okay, I feel like this has reached such sickening, disgusting levels. That we actually have to make Ba with the Ba live in here now. So let's like stick the TV in Omar's house. He can just contend with us. Uh, put the toilet in here. Put the shower in here. We really gotta make it small too, though. You know, I think that's fine for now. We just need a reason to go into this disheveled abode. He's calling a pizza! <laughs> Where are you gonna put the pizza? How are we ever gonna eat a pizza in this absolute chaos? Look, nobody even knows what they're doing anymore. I can't tell if people are dying or if they're just arbitrarily leaving. Dude, like, I made it all the way from SimCity to your house in less than an hour. What do you think this is, Pizza Dude Dale? You think you have independence in my, uh, sovereign nation? No. It's over for you, Pizza Mindale. You thought you could be part of my life? Let's see if he does anything about this. I don't want to trap the cat, but I feel like I have to. Just unpause for a second. See where he goes, I guess. See, so I think he's gonna take this route, but I don't know. Guess maybe we do have to trap the cat. Hmm, I don't know. Yes, we do this! That way Dale has to suffer. And then the cat can eventually leave. There we go. <laughs> Not even pizza can save you now! 
Let's do something like this real quick, too. Or can I not? Okay. I don't know what the hell that was. I was going in, like, multi-time there for some reason. Yes, dude! Dale, you're screwed! It is now time for you to expire. Okay, now we got Omar and Dale. The new, like, uh, Chip and Dale live-action movie or whatever. What, what was the last thing they did with uh, the three chipmunks or whatever they're called? It was a live-action movie, right? Here, do you guys want me to clean up your piss? Is that what it is? I don't think they even care. Oh, it looks like Lucy's demise is about to happen as well, so... <laughs> like I said earlier, I had all these plans to make this like a humane playthrough, but... I feel like it's just more fun when we do this. It adds character to the... Like, entire series, you know? I can't trap anybody else. Yeah, everybody is outside of the lot coordinates now. Alright, have fun. Go, like, do your stuff. I don't even know what he's doing anymore. Honestly, I'm not paying attention to Ba with the Ba to Bang to Bang, because uh, it's more about the zone that he occupies. The pizza guy just disappeared on me. Good stuff. At least now I know that the pizza guy is incorporeal. Uh... Do we need anything else here, or can we just start calling people again? I think we just start a telemarketing scam again as soon as it hits morning. Yes! Right before work starts. And the, uh, flatline sound effects are happening as well. We call neighbors, right? And then we move, uh... All of Bawatabaa's utilities into this house again, I think. Because, like, we got Omar, but he's not gonna do anything. I think having a main house, aside from, like, the poop dungeon over here, is gonna be real important. So let's just call for party. Call for party! Did I click call neighbor? God! Mmm. I mean, this is a feels good man, but also, like, can I... legit call for a uh, party? Guess we're gonna miss work again. How do I keep doing that? Oh, Malcolm died! I'm sorry, Malcolm! Oh, you're a complete idiot! Complete idiot, Malcolm. You don't know how to sleep or use the toilet. Good job, buddy. Buddy, who's a good buddy who died in my lot? Don't get spooked by happy family. That's my own damn sim. Wait, what? How do I keep calling neighbor? I swear to God, I keep clicking throw party, but I guess it doesn't care. Juanita is now dead. Can we, like, throw a party? Throw a party. I think I'm just clicking downward and it auto pass into call neighbor. Yeah, it's now all throw party. Nice. And then we can go to work in just like two seconds. Uh, see you later, Lucy. I think Drew Carey's gonna die too. Everybody's collapsing! <laughs> Dirk needs TV! Rest in peace. Get spooked by whoever that is. Why does it look like another JoJo reference? Oh, that's Zara. Lucy has died. Did they even drop, uh... I was gonna say cemeteries. Did they even drop urns when they die like this? See, the whole point is just murder everybody, but, like... I got mm, Nuki Dookie. Like we gotta instantly leave if Nuka Dookum dies. So I guess does this work? <laughs> Is this gonna work? Hmm. Oh my god! I exited my lot and everybody's still here. What the hell? Uh, isn't there a way to make my sim exit? 
Or is that just like leaving to Old Town or whatever? Where did I have Nuke Dukem? I need to make sure he survives, if I can. He had his own house, if I remember correctly. Where is Nuki Dukey's house? I'm pretty sure this was Nuke Dukem's house, so he's probably dead. Let me just check. My name, Nuki Dukey. Yeah, I think I just killed Nuke Dukem, but that's fine. He was an idiotic character to begin with. I don't really care about Dirk Gently either. Who is probably gonna die in like another two seconds. Can I ask for a Nuke's life back? You can, okay. Yeah, let me just make sure I go up to the Grim Reaper in just a second here. Who is this? Lucy. Do we have two Lucys? Nuke has just died. What? I thought it... Hmm. Plea, the Grim Reaper, please. I don't know how this works in Sims 1, but I, I think you should be able to plea for somebody's life. Even after they're dead. I don't know. <laughs> We're just killing everybody now, I guess. Uh, Flo's showing up to say hi. Hey, Flo. Okay, stop. No more parties. Dirk has died. Yeah, just plea for the Grim Reaper to return somebody's spirit to this corporeal plane. Hey, it's Jojo reference. What's up, Jojo reference? This is absolute madness. Ronaldino Soccer is here. What's up? <laughs> I feel like we've just made sims that like chat members would like. And that's how the creation myth that I've made here. Plea. Quentin has died. Who am I begging for? Who is coming back to life here? Oh, Dirk is still alive. Rock, paper, scissors! Congratulations, you have beat the Grim Reaper. Who did I bring back? That doesn't look like anybody I care about. Who are you reviving? Who was it? It was Letitia? Uh, Lucas had to die for that, though. <laughs> so much is going on now that I can't even keep up with who is dying and who isn't. What? What? Is, what? what? <laughs> Brad shown up to the funeral, of course. Mortimer died. We got rid of one of the default sims, I guess. You know what, it's officially reached the point where I'm just gonna have to kill my own sims, but I think that's like a necessary trade-off for what's going on here. Flow Jojo reference are both too important, of course. Mortimer has died, dude. Can I, like, call everybody over to... Like, isn't there a way to ask to come over? Whatever, dude. We'll just keep going. I don't know why you're crying. Like, you should be serving lunch for everybody. Too much is going on for you to care about other people's lives. So how about you make everybody's lives worse? Good god, look at this fucking chaos. The, the car leading to my job cannot get out of my lot. Drew Carey is permanently paralyzed. Like, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be here for all eternity. I guess the car to my job did take off. What, now that I've made food, everybody's gonna, like, stop on by? Omar died. Well, we can clear that area up, I guess. Good fucking god. What if recreated here? See, now I can just do this. I just gotta wait for, like, Cyber Jesus. And if anything, I can probably just do this. Yep, there we go. Just gotta slowly wait for them to encompass themselves inside. See, once again, Brad is here on, like, the precipice of everybody's death. Guess we can have, like, a door there. <laughs> I don't know. What do you put there? Yes, wait for Bo at the bot to exit, I guess. Same with Brad. He has to be out first. The legendary character known as Brad. 
Okay. It's all taken care of. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this. I'm just making new houses to kill more sims because for whatever reason in this game it's so hard to get sims to come into your house bare minimum. Good god. I do have JoJo reference in here so I probably want to make sure everybody like is at least taken care of. Like I, for lack of a better term, start quarantining them. <laughs> Brad! Stop. You're lucky you're even alive. The sole reason you exist is due to memes. Like, this is a good distribution here. I could probably lock these people away from each other. I probably want to keep, uh... Oh! Oh. He's crying and thinking about Jim Carrey, or, uh, Drew Carey. Smart. I don't know why my sim even tries talking to me, man. He has his own free will. He can figure this shit out. Uh, i probably do something like this, right? Like, start removing one of these primary walls, because it's so easy. Do they get blocked off by the plants? Ooh, this is kind of scary. I don't like seeing them move like that, so... Just do that to keep them blocked off again. Like, how do I do this? I need a pie chart for how this is going to work. We definitely want Ronaldinho soccer. Okay, he's not an object game. Don't objectify Ronaldinho soccer. He's one of the greatest memes of all time. We could probably do something like this. Just let him exit whenever he figures out his own pathing, I suppose. Who else? We want this corner taken up. We want to let JoJo reference get out. Uh, I guess, like, if I can, I'll beg for Dirk's life. Because he is a character I created. Yeah. If he dies, he dies, dude. Like, he's already in so many books, who cares? I guess since we have Flo over here and Ronaldinho, we want to, like, do something like this, maybe? Hmm. I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll figure it out. And we obviously want Cyber Jesus and JoJo reference to be out of here. I don't really care so much about... Adama Jensen, though. She's got to, like, have her own life. I want her to exist in this world. Cannot intersect with object. Tell you what, we remove the object then. And I will intersect how I damn well please. Still cannot intersect. Dude, this is fucking perfect. There we go. We got like the primary distribution of people we want to kill. I know that sounds so weird, but bear with me, man. We probably just want to, like, start moving objects out of the house so we can adequately represent who we want in here. Like, dude, Ronaldinho Soccer deserves to live. He's too incredibly based. I can't do anything diagonal. You know what? We, mm, we connect these two walls. I think that's how it works. Nope. I got it. Because, like, the vast majority of people we want to preserve are right over here. So we want to, like, block this off in this way. Hmm. And then just wait for him to get out of the way. It's slowly coming together, the puzzle of life that this game is. It's working. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, and then we... Can we, like, intersect with the flowers? Yes. So we probably just wanna... Hmm. Do this? No. I guess this was perfect. Okay, and then do something like this? Yeah, dude, yeah. The puzzle's coming together. Ronaldinho doesn't look like he's going to roam around, so I think we'll just wait a little bit longer. Okay, 
Execute. The Grim Reaper has no time for this. Okay, I guess Dirk is permanently gone. The game is lagging to hell now. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We got Brad. We got dead Emma in her pool of piss. We got another dead Emma near her pool of piss. As a sniper from TF2 would say, PACE OF PISS! Okay, how do we, like, adequately separate these sims? I want JoJo reference and Christboard to exist. We can probably let Ronaldinho just wander around until he frees himself. In fact, I know I've done this several times already, but I feel like Ronaldinho's smart enough to figure this out. Let's see. All the sims rush towards the door instantaneously. All the good sims do. Hmm. That's a curio right there. So can I remove this now? Nope. Just go ahead and escape. This is the Sims escape room now, I guess. See you later, Mary Boom Boom! <laughs> Why is she always the one the first to get out? Okay, get out of here, Adama Jensen. Get out of here, Flo. Selena died. Of course, like the second... I know she exists, she kills herself. I can't select an object in use, but I can probably block the sim off. No? Hmm. Is there a way I can prevent this from happening further? Because I'm, I'm so close. Like, the two sims I care about are right here. I can't even interact with them. But just know that they hold a special place in my heart. Here I was getting ready to, like, interact with JoJo reference, too, and, like... It's impossible at this point. We've got something going on here, though. I can feel it in my bones. So we, like, let them escape, and then... Yeah, dude! Just, like, block off the important part. There we go. There we go. And now it's just Ronaldinho Soccer. Who, like... It doesn't matter that he's over there. He's gonna get out on his own volition. Go ahead and move this berg. And then can I get Jojo reference out of here? He's the only character I care about anymore. Yeah. Yeah. See, the problem is just this diagonal gap right here. Willow has died right as the flatline sound effect was happening. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really seemingly do anything with these two. I guess if I move the door, maybe? <laughs> I don't want Ronaldinho getting back in. Let's do this. Maybe this will get Jojo reference and Cyborg Jesus to move over here? At the very least, dude. Come on. Come on. I know you guys can do this. Don't. Do not mourn. Alright, Eloise is getting out. God. It never works how you intend it to. Well, I guess, uh... These guys will figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, of course, I've trapped Ronaldinho as well. Let's go ahead and liberate him. Since he's basically already free. You guys gonna, like, do anything, or...? Rest in peace. Rip in pieces. I guess we just gotta let everybody out here. Because I don't think I can interact with these two over here just yet. Yeah. It's just the great filter, you know? We gotta slowly filter them out of the system. I could probably just close this off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm intersecting with a puddle of pee, though, is the problem. <laughs> God. Okay. I guess we'll slowly figure this out. We've still got our, like, accursed clown dungeon going on here, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, Cha has to die. To fulfill the scenario. Jaw! 
Oh, I'm going to sleep. Okay, we got Jesus. This is the one and only stream on Twitch that has Jesus. In cyborg form, in fact. I can see it, dude. They're so close to liberating themselves, it has happened. It has happened. We are now happy family. So, like... I could probably do something like this. Oh, I can smell it. We're so close. I just need to block off the rest of the domain to everybody else. Like, let Cyborg Jesus walk into the real part of the house, I think. Can I pick up piss puddles? Nope. Oh, dude. I can feel it. I'm so close. Dude, JoJo reference, what's your problem? I need him out of here, but he doesn't want to escape. There we go. Okay, JoJo reference, be free. It is your time to shine, my friend. If you didn't want a life before, now you have it. So, like, be grateful that I let you exist. I guess we'll just wait until Cyborg Jesus, uh... I don't know. Turns the water into wine, I guess. Like, this is perfect. This should work. But it doesn't for some reason. Love how I'm just sticking burgers out in the yard. That's how I'm figuring all this out. So, can I do it with this? Yes. Be free, Cyborg Jesus. <laughs> yes. Now we've only made a slight sacrifice for, like, the amount of work we've put into this. Because now, the true believers are the ones who survive here. Of course, I cannot remove the bathroom door, though. I think that's gonna do it for now. We'll probably just, like, see what happens. And just let it go. <laughs> this really is like a graveyard now. Good god. This is cemetery to the maximum. Can't interact with the door. I mean, to be fair, Chua was kind of a side throwaway character to begin with. So, it's probably a good thing that we're uh, instantly devastating him. I need to be able to block the door off, but I can't. Can I do it now? Nope. Hmm. In all reality, I could just trap all of them here. This is one cohesive unit, in fact. Hmm. I don't know how this is going to work, but I think the chaos is going to become greater now. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're going to, like, change priority and think that they can escape. When in reality, the problem is just worse than tenfold. There is some algorithm here at work that is going to let me get Cha out of here. Gotta love how I spelled that, too. Cha! There we go. Dude, exactly. Can I take the door now? Hmm. I cannot convey how much that pisses me off, but like, whatever, dude. We got- we got Cha in one area. That's all that matters. Like, if everybody else moves out of here and he just stands here, it's fine. Like, I should be able to just do this now. No? Not quite yet. Gotta love a, a, just how much of a cluster this is. This is meant to be like, you know, a life simulation game, and here I am just... Trapping people in corners with piss. And uh, Kill Zone 3, also known as Luther. Come on, dude. I'm so close. Just walk into the corner. Nobody else here matters. They can't even escape of their own volition, dude. My own sim is sleeping during all of this, too. Okay. Looks like Reese's pieces got out. Nope. Still can't interact. It's like, they're queuing up to escape, but... They gotta, like, go through Ticketmaster to be able to escape this house. 
That's how absurd this logic is. No, don't... Don't turn around. I just gotta wait until this spot is clear. But no. They're gonna be stupid morons and not understand how physics works. Mmm, dude. I probably should just do this. And then just build around like them exiting. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> yes! Now Cha is part of the overarching Sims universe. And JR, who looks like a uh, spicy cockyween, but not quite. I can't block the door off. You know, let's just let's just do it like this. Let's just do it like this. Because they are apparently too stupid to figure it out. Let's see who uh, survives knowing that a door exists, but they cannot interact with it. Apparently nobody gets it. Okay. You guys are going to sleep? I'm taking the door away. You thought this was a democracy? This is anarchy. Well, we have officially obtained our quarry, which is uh, every useless sim in the neighborhood, basically. And let's just watch the chaos ensue, I suppose. And again, thank you very much for watching me play The Sims 1. This has been a fantastic experience, as it always is. And uh, it's even better with the magic of ba with the ba da bang da bang The greatest sim to ever grace humanity. He's so accursed that even his upstairs house melts into the world. Okay, it's time to go to work, I guess. Uh, you know what? While we're doing this... Yeah, morning... Morning the urn on the ground while thinking of Drew Carey, dude. That is just the theme of this stream. Let's, like, throw 11 parties and then just get out of here. Let them wander into my house as they see fit. Go for it, dude. It's party time. Oh my... Okay, that's fine. I was gonna go to work, but I guess they took off without me. Well, uh, this will be something to open up to next time I play. You're fired! <laughs> Everybody just shows up to cry. That's all they care about. Nobody cares about Ba with the Ba da Bang da Bang. It's all about... His corpse empire. Everything else is secondary to this. I think I just genuinely wanted everybody to show up this time. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it off here. We'll just keep, you know, our trap sims and also, uh, exist, I guess. Why are you crying so much? He is pretty much on the verge of death, surprisingly, while he's thinking about Drew Carey, of course. Classic. The only celebrity to ever exist, by the way. Where did I... <laughs> no wonder why he's so hungry. Can't even access the innards of the fridge. There. Go have dinner. I'm sure you can figure it out, right? Got a nice cat and a dog wandering around in my house, by the way. Okay, uh, apparently cooking is too hard, so depression... Takes priority. Uh, it looks like everybody went home from the party too, so... I guess we'll just find another job. And, uh, get out of here. Get haunted by ghosts at the same time too. I don't want to look for a job, I'm too depressed. Well, maybe simultaneous death will make you less depressed. Go take a shower, by the way. You stinky buffoon. I don't know why Sims 1 is so broken, by the way, like, he's not having any fun, he has no energy, and yet he just allows himself to suffer. Forever. Hey, it looks like all the piss cleaned itself up, at least. Will you find a damn job? Or are you too depressed this time? Still too depressed. Here, I'm like trying to end the stream for the night, and he's like, no, me first. Me first! 
I have no social, by the way. Like, who am I gonna talk to? The people trapped in my clown basement? Nope. Ain't gonna happen, man. Just have, like, five snacks. And then... Talk to the male lady. Oh, I guess she doesn't count. Uh... Play with the pets. Spork the pet. Sounds like an Adventure Time reference. Will you, like, get a damn job now? Nope. He still needs to socialize, sadly, so let's, uh... Call a neighbor, I guess. Oh, he's going to sleep. Okay. I'm actually doing real sim things for once. Okay, wake up. It's time for you to get ready, bada bada bang da bang. Let's talk to Adama Jensen. Because she uh, has, like, some augmentations for bada bada bang da bang to pick up. I love how everybody was uh, showing up from the Sims Online community earlier. And <laughs> I feel like I've just totally cursed any sort of uh, interest in this stream from that community. Because they're like, oh, he's just killing everybody, huh? That's what you gotta do in The Sims. What, why are you telling me about, like, Peter Parker falling asleep? I think the game has actually crashed. <laughs> Dude. The game has literally crashed. How do I save? It won't let me do anything. <laughs> what am I hearing? There is some real demon shit going on, chat. Let me just minimize this real quick and see if that fixes it. I've actually destroyed the game to the point where, uh... It actually does not exist anymore. Yeah, everything works, but not really. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh... At least we saved before we made all of our, like, new sims. Or after we made them, I suppose. Why am I still hearing stuff? Like, why... Why is stuff semi-interactable, but not really? Uh, is there a manual save button? Nope. Alt-S? Dude, this is weird. I know this game has its bugs. But holy moly. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me today. We, uh, had some chaos, made a graveyard. It was probably gonna happen at some point where the game crashed after I did a bunch of stuff, so... Anyway, thank you very much for watching me play The Sims 1. Appreciate you stopping by. Again, thank you, The Sims Online community, for, uh, you know, sharing my stream, finding it interesting, and uh, stopping by. And again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.